Hey guys, so welcome to another whiteboard video. This one's going to be a short one, but very, very important, all right? So I actually created a whiteboard version of a generator that we're gonna go over in a second, but I did this to show you the formula. I don't care what you plug into it, you are always going to get the same result because it is the same formula, all right? You're going to get an action, a justifier, and a reason, and then there is your Creditor, account number, and dispute reason. Very simply put it onto your dispute letter, okay? It's exactly like the dispute reason generator that I, excuse me, dispute reason generator that I made, all right? So I actually gave you a, uh, a couple different things that you could do with a student loan, all right? This is based off the fact that there are so many people in the comments and on text and email and everywhere saying that they have student loan issues, okay? So basically, we're going with the payment history first. So you have to know what you're looking for, obviously, to be able to dispute it, right? So let's say that you have everything paid on time except for a 90 day late payment. So let me ask you this. What are you gonna do to remove this 90 day late payment? We're not removing the account, just the late payment. Well, you could start with the fact that there are no late payments prior to this. So. Obviously, if there are no late payments prior to this, then that means that this 90 day late payment is inaccurate, okay? So your very simple dispute reason could say, uh, remove this 90 day late payment because there are no prior late payments, which means that the account cannot be 90 days late without 30 or 60 days, right? Now, unfortunately, the truth behind it is that they update every 90 days and therefore it can show that you were on time on time late 90 days all right but for credit reporting purposes it just doesn't work out because it shows that you were paid on time when you in fact were not if that's a 90 day late payment all right so all you have to do is just think about that logically and it's going to give you a dispute reason now Let's look at this differently. What if we want to remove the same account, but it's charged off or transferred? Okay, so this is the late payment history that we are looking at in this scenario, okay? So it shows charge off, charge off, charge off, charge off, 180 days, 120 days, 90, 90, 90, 60, 30, okay, okay, 30. So in this one, we are wanting to remove the account because there's nothing that you could do with a charge. If you can't update it, it's done, it's finito, it's dead, okay? You need to remove this from your credit report. Um, I mean, unless it's like the oldest thing on there, you have no other positive history, and then it's just going to drop your score, but that's for a different day. Okay. So there should be no activity, no, no, no activity after the account has been closed. Nothing, no, no, this is a long hair, okay. No activity if their account was closed. Now, some may say that this is just the way that the bureaus report. I don't care because I will tell you the same thing, that the reason that you're seeing this is not because of the creditor, it is because that is simply the way that the account reports. However, it's the same way that a creditor is going to see it. It's the same way that you see it when you pull out on identity IQ, on privacy guard, on credit check total, on Experian, on TransUnion, on Credit Karma, wherever. So if your loan officer or your you know potential creditor goes and pulls your credit report, not with one of those sites, but their own thing, that is also the same information that they can see and therefore it is inaccurate. There should be no activity after the account is closed okay that's it all right so you can actually dispute that now another thing that you can do is go here right to this oldest late payment and dispute that to remove this whole account so i'm going to show you the dispute reason for both so using the scenario of hey no activity after the account was closed you would say there should be no activity after this account was closed and no matter where i pull my credit report it is the same i see this everywhere delete this account for inaccuracy okay now let's look at the second one if you want to use this oldest late payment the very first one that at least you could see 
you're going to say, I paid on time, whatever this date is, please delete for inaccuracy. You see how simple this is? And yes, I'm making this super, super duper simple because this is exactly what you're going to use. This is exactly what you're going to see. And the formula never changes. The formula never changes, okay? If you are adding one and one, how do you know that you equal two? If you are adding two and two, how do you know that the result is going to be four? Because the formula never changes. The same thing with this. This is what I want for you guys to understand, okay? Nobody else is going to give you this information. Nobody else teaches this stuff, okay? But I'm breaking this down so that it can be very easily understood so that you can get the deletions, okay? So now, Let's look at my little whiteboard generator over here, okay? Let me just switch sides. All right, so here is my whiteboard generator and it just uh, tried to autofocus. Okay, now speaking of simple, this is very, very simple. You would not write your disputes like this. I am only doing this so that you can understand, all right? So um, I'll start up here. So your formula components for every single account, all right? First section is you need to know whether you want to delete or update the account. Do you want it completely removed or is this a, uh, or, excuse me, or is this just a section of it that you want to be updated? If you don't know this, don't dispute it because if you don't tell them, they could do the opposite. And even if you do tell them, they still might do the opposite, but you should always be telling them, please update this or delete it immediately or remove this late payment whatever it is, let them know what you want to do, okay? So, first section, delete or update. Second, uh, second section, you need to know the components of every single dispute. It needs to have an action, a justifier, and the reason, right? So I broke it down right here. So this is our fake generator. We have an action on every single one. We have a justifier on every single one. It's the same because just for this example, because and a reason, okay? So we're gonna go one by one. And I tried to make them different. So the first one is the action, delete this inquiry. The uh, justifier is because you need to justify why you're telling them whatever you're telling them. Remove it because, delete it because, update because, okay? And you've heard me say this in other videos, but when you give a justifier, it makes it not only more human, but they actually want to help you more or something. I don't know how to explain it. And I used a, a copy machine, uh, someone standing in a, a line at a copy machine, and they're like mad people. And you want to get to the front of the line, right? Because you don't want to be waiting in the end, at the end of the line and have to go one by one by one. So you go cut to the front of the line and you tell Fat Bob that you want to cut in front of him. And... That's all you say. Hey, I need to make this copy. Let me get in front of you. And he says, no. But if you go and you're in a hurry and you say, hey, Bob, look, you know, I never do this, but I really need to get in front of you. Let me just, it's going to take me two seconds. Here's my one paper. You know, my husband, my wife, my significant other, my partner, my children, they're waiting for me outside in the car. And I promised them I'd take him out for ice cream. Now, don't you think that Bob would be more inclined to help you because you gave him a reason other than just, hey, I need to make a copy. Let me get in front of you. You get what I'm saying? It's the same thing when you're fighting with your partner or your spouse or not even your children because most of the time you don't have to tell them why. You just say, hey, go do that, right? But you're fighting with your spouse and you're going to tell them why you're pissed off. You know, you really, really frustrate me because because you did this, because you did that. I feel this way because. Always justify every single thing on your credit report because otherwise, who the hell cares? If you don't care, they are not going to care, okay? The amount of energy and time that you invest into your credit is the same, well, theoretically, is the same that they are going to invest into either responding to you or trying to help you or whatever, okay? So if you do nothing, you're going to get nothing in return, all right? So that was my tangent. Back to this. Okay, delete this inquiry because I didn't authorize it. You have an action, you have a justifier and a reason. 
Okay, baby woke up. Just give me two seconds. Okay, my apologies. All right, so remove the inquiry because I didn't authorize it. The next one is delete this collection because there's no signed contract. Okay, now you would be beefing out these dispute reasons, but once again, these are examples for you to understand the formula. Okay, next one. This charge off is reported inaccurately and needs to be removed because LPAC, late payments after charge off. All right, remove this bankruptcy because there's two filing dates. Remove this judgment because the balance and there's two, two different plaintiffs. Okay, um, remove these uh, these collections because you failed to legally verify. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Remove this address. So now we're on personal information. Remove this address because I never lived there. Okay, so delete or remove the account because is the justifier and then the factual reason directly from the credit report. You really can't get any easier than this, any simpler than this for you to get your deletions, okay? So I hope that by breaking this down, it made it a little bit easier for you guys to, you know, create your factual base dispute reasons because once again, you are a factual disputer, right? Factual disputer. I even have a shirt that says, I am a factual disputer, just so that people ask me, hey, what is a factual disputer? Anywho, okay, that is it for this. I hope you enjoyed this. Now, just so you know, I do have a mastermind tactics class coming on 524. The link is going to be down in the description so that if you want a ticket, you can go. Now, if you get a ticket to this live class, and you are unable to make it, that is totally fine because anybody with a ticket gets lifetime access to watch it over and over and over again, okay? There is going to be Q&A, there is going to be a live chat on there, and I'm going to be sharing my screen and showing you different tactics. If you want to see the full list, I did um, list it in the community section under the posts, as well as um, on the feed in the events on Facebook. So if you go to facebook.com slash expert credit sweeps, you will find it there. All right. And guess what? It's super affordable. All right. So if you need help with your disputes, if this doesn't make any sense to you, that is totally fine. Um, contact me. All right. So you can schedule a discovery call, a free discovery call uh, prior to sign up if you have any questions. But I'm pretty certain everything is on the website. And if it's not, just schedule a call with me. Um, if we send me an email, I will try to get to it as soon as possible. And if not, post it down in the comments. All right. So that is it for tonight. Um, my name is Kristen. I am a factual disputer and I will see you guys later. Have a great one. Bye.